2.55 a.m. Chapter 15. 2.55 a.m. Kids are everywhere. They're running the streets. <laughs> oh, guys, don't go out after 2 a.m. It's not worth it. Ten years ago, a man named Sissel took a little girl named Lynn hostage and then was killed by a meteorite fragment. Tonight, a man named Sissel met a detective named Lynn at a junkyard on the edge of town and then was killed by a bullet. It's all coming right back around. I'm just not supposed to be alive. But the scene I find waiting for me on the other end of the phone line feels like the final nail in the coffin of my lost memory. Hi, welcome to Couch Capades. Hi, what? welcome to Couch Capades. We have no idea what's going on. <laughs> what? I see myself. Maybe that's not what I look like. Am I a clone? Oh, that'd be awesome if they <laughs> introduced clones. Right? Uh, there you are, Commander Sith. Finally. Oh, oh crap. Who? I'm him? Really? Okay. Yeah. Sissel, where have you been, my good man? We've been looking everywhere for you. Have you? Well, I had a little unfinished business to take care of. Didn't think it would take this long. What about your people? They sure went out of their way to mess this up. <laughs> yeah, they sure went out of their way to mess me up. I say, I believe we fulfilled every one of your conditions in our little deal. Including this time travel thing, I guess. What right do you have to complain about anything outside our bargain? You, do you need a lozenge? Are you, are you okay? <laughs> I, that, I can barely hear you, but you know what? Whatever. We can talk about that when we get together. Later tonight. Candlelights. Clean what do you think? Out, clean out your ears if you can't hear me. Yeah, I, all right. Well, uh, all right, don't, don't go after me like that. This will be our last communication by telephone. We'll arrive in one hour. I look forward to seeing you, Sizzle. Hey. hey. Dawn is approaching. <laughs> the darkness surrounding my own mystery is deep, but I know it's always darkest before the dawn. Really? You're going to say that 3 a.m. is dawn is almost approaching? How far north is this, and how far into summer? <laughs> Come on now. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm, yes. We're nearing the final stages of our deal, my good man. Yes, sir! All preparations are complete, sir! I love how much crap you give me when you have to salute to even do that voice. Look, man, I'm in character. And we just had a report, sir! Lights have been spotted, sir! What? No, lights? How could they? Have they now? By all means, let me have a look. Let me clicky clicky, sir, and smack it! Yes, sir! <laughs> John is in a mood. You looking at me, sir? Do you like what you see, sir? Mm, yeah. I knew it! We're very close. I mean, you're kind of looking at my nips, sir! We will now disconnect from the communication cable and have no service until we arrive, sir! Also... I'm using this like a submarine periscope. So you don't like what you see, sir? Very well. Clickety clacky, smackety backy. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> you, you seem uh, a little more. Uh... Oh, oh, oh right. I oh, was right. You're right. It was a full-on... It's actually a submarine. Wait. 
Are we here now? Wait. Do I need to go here now? Huh? I oh, wait, I'm so confused. <laughs> what was that? Uh, hey, nice try, Inspector Cabanella. But you could never you could never stop me. Think of me but as like, who are you? Think of me as the evil missile. Kinda like Sonic has an evil Sonic, it's called Shadow. I'm evil missile. Simil. That'll work. <laughs> See ya, sir. <laughs> Would that be civil? Evil Sissel? Evil Sissel? How did you get Simmel? I had missile in my head. Oh! <laughs> See ya, sucker. Sissel is already the evil version of missile. You just changed the M for an S. Oh. Yeah, they did. All right. Kind of. Sort of? Ish. <laughs> Trick time! Let's save Cabanella? I guess so. Let's. Uh, let's see. Let me remember how to play this. There we go. <sighs> let's talk to Cabanella. Hey! Hey, do you think you could wake up for me? Nah. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Still unconscious, huh? I guess he hasn't uh, been dead for very long then. I'll just go ahead and go back to four minutes before his death. No need to worry about talking to him. I'm a little nervous about what I might see there, though. It might get weird real be. fast. But if that's where I'm going to find my answers, I can't run away from it. Hey. Let's rewind time. <laughs> At least I don't have to talk to Cabanella. I guess that's all right. Yet. Cool. Oh, all you're, right. he's about to talk. Oh, crap. Oh, man. All right. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. you get to talk to yourself a little more. Hell yeah. You have fun. Oh, once the criminals get the punishment they deserve, the hostages will go free. <laughs> Just one criminal. Oh, yeah, well. Carry out the execution immediately and wait for our call. I do declare that's what's going to happen. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's a good boy. You're a very good boy. Gee, a hostage sure is a handy thing. Uh, and it gives me complete control over the top police inspector in the country. <laughs> you have another hostage? What? Okay. <laughs> uh, what's the matter? All those broken bones smart a bit? What? What's it like to feel real pain? Does okay. it make you feel alive? Oh my god. Why? Why are you doing? What are you doing this? Why are you doing this? <laughs> I gotta figure out these character voices. It's been a little bit. <laughs> huh? Now, is that any kind of uh, question for a top inspector to ask? Isn't it obvious? Revenge. <laughs> of course. Served. Served cold. Icy. What? Revenge is on revenge on all the people who stole my life away ten years ago. Excuse me? What are we talking about what? here? Now say, so don't be ridiculous. It was a meteorite that stole your life, or have you forgotten that? What? Um, wrong. So he can't feel pain anymore. Okay. Yeah, I was murdered by all of you. Okay. I'm gonna hold this right here and not feel anything. Feel the warmth. The only warmth I feel. Detective Jowd, who chased me down and forced me into a corner, even though I was innocent. Were you really, though? Lynn, that girl who was right there when I was running. Running really fast? Uh, yeah. Uh, Lynn? She was an innocent girl playing in the park. If that brat hadn't been there, I would have never thought of taking her a hostage. What? That's not how this works. I do declare that is the most self-centered garbage I've ever heard. Preach. Testify. <laughs> and finally, you, Inspector Cabanella, the thunder rolls on the revenge I'm about to drop on you. <laughs> I don't think they would have heard that, I don't but think uh, it's starting to I was really storm close. here. <laughs> we'll uh, see. Me. 
If you hadn't done what you did, I don't know why I'm mixing both these voices now. I never would have pointed a gun at that kid. What? Uh, yeah. You know what? We're going to just talk about <laughs> Let, that. Let's explain yeah, a little more. Go. So you were so proud of your spotless record. <laughs> and my case was the one blot on it, wasn't it? Only two people know the real truth. Me and Detective Jow. Uh, yeah. What? A Fred. Uh, okay. <laughs> I bet tonight's execution will be quite a relief to you, won't it? One of the people who know about the stain on your record will disappear for good. That's why I didn't help why you. That's why you didn't help him escape from prison. Okay. Did I, I said that right, right? Yeah, okay. yeah. So Jowd is scheduled to be executed. Uh, yes. So that means that he will no longer have the possibility have the, of speaking of truth. Speaking the truth about whatever, whatever made up thing they've decided to be ungrateful about or upset about that probably isn't a big deal. <laughs> that, that's that's the kind of guy you are. Uh, yeah. Fred. <laughs> Most normal Fred right. you could ever I just, do. I, just, I have to normal Fred this one. Oh, I understand. I have to normal Fred that one because I'm get like, it. I'm slipping I get it. in and out of these. Yeah. I got nothing to say to you. You'd never listen anyway. <laughs> Freeze. Oh, I just shot. Okay. What? I don't think that's going to do much. Yeah, here he comes. I'm... Wait, he, what? He's just undead. <laughs> you got Mother of Christ. You got now then, Inspector. Time to make a big red stain on that spotless white coat. Uh, okay. What? Whoa, what? Uh, um. This was another condition of my deal. To wipe out everyone who knew about Temsic. Okay. Ah. Uh. Yeah, that happened. Somehow. Revenge? What's that's what I'm up to? <laughs> Wait, how am I here and there? Am I that fast? Holy crap, I am that fast. I, I did guess. go that fast. Now this makes any sense. Thank you. He's the Lindsay Lohan of this game. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> there are twins? <laughs> hey man! Mind telling me what's going on. <laughs> uh, Inspector Cabanella. Oh crap, he's awake. My head is spinning, baby. And I am I to understand that Kevinella's character who just got shot is me? Yes. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, that's right. And you're supposed to be the scoundrel there who just shot me? No. Uh, you know, I, I guess so. I, I don't know. But that couldn't be you, could it? No, that couldn't be you, could you? But you couldn't be that. Not, you couldn't could be you? that. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's all good. You, huh? got the, you got the point across. Huh? What? After all, the guy in the red suit just walked out the door, right? So, who are you? I guess I just have to face it. I'm not that, Sissel guy. There are twins. I mean, it could be. Maybe my brain was switched to someone else, but the soul is completely different, leading into this existential crisis of what is actually life. I, I, somebody's searching for himself. That's the easy way of saying whatever John just blurted through. Somebody's searching for himself. <laughs> uh, when you Occam's razor. When you Occam's razor, what is life? Right there is, yeah, um, I'm just someone who's searching for himself. That's why I'm here to save you. <laughs> At the very least, you have information about that guy in red. Information I need. Like, what's his name? Yeah, like, let's start with his name. That That's first. So you came to a rescue or on a rescue mission now, did you? Nothing like the sound. Nothing like that sound. Nothing like the sound of that, baby. Wow. Here it is. <laughs> oh, good. I'm dying. <laughs> 
because there's a very important life here somewhere. A life valuable to this nation. Let me guess, it's yours. <laughs> okay, so do your thing, baby. Mm -hmm. What thing? What are you talking about? Does Cabanella know about all this shit? Well, he kind of heard about it earlier. Oh, that's a good point. Ish. I forgot about that. You know what? Let's. What, what's this? <laughs> that's okay. a good point. Control. Control the top, police inspector. I did it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, look at him. He's beautiful. There's something emanating from his body. Mm -hmm. Is that really the sign of having special powers of the dead? Could be. Okay, so I can turn on the lamp. I can swivel the desk. I can plow. Close the spoot lid. <laughs> Close the spoot lid. <laughs> I can rock the helmet. I can rock the castle. I can examine the book. Not that that will do me any good because we already know that I can't read. Um. Okay, so the teapot will get down to the ground, so that'll get me in reach of the bottom part. Yeah. Is I I, th I think that might be what we need to do, I guess. Could be, I don't know. <laughs> Hello. Will that do anything? Um uh, What's the matter? All those broken bones. bones. Feel the pain. Pop revenge. Oh, it's all about revenge. Need the revenge. Aha! Now I can get downstairs for some reason. Oh! <laughs> look at this place! We were here earlier. We it did were. not look like this. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> um, that's not good. What in the world happened here? Uh, Fred. Think I'm stunned to remember. Fred! Something bad happened here. I do declare. Something you don't bad. say. <laughs> and now. <laughs> Who would have thought? There's another death line hidden here. Excuse me? What? Another death? Did Shit. Did core? Didn't I tell you from the start? Nope. Didn't I say there was a valuable, important life? Valuable to the nation here. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were being narcissistic. Uh, I thought you were... Being kind of a jackass and talking about yourself. <laughs> hm. I'm just a crazy character in a white coat, baby. <laughs> okay. Watch me now. Hey, what's up, lovey dove? <laughs> hey, come to think of it, where is that old pigeon guy? Oh, shit, know. he died. <laughs> oh no. Ah, uh, he might have. Let's see. So I can get to the hoist can't get anywhere else just yet so okay it moves oh oh hey you know that works really well okay uh time is passing there oh there it is yeah i can open the toolbox i can examine the measuring device there are two bits for the measuring device and i can't Get over there. So let me try Open the opening toolbox? the toolbox. Yeah. Open. Cool. Okay, I'm feeling it. Cool. And then we can Can't talk do anything to... to the balance toy. Hey, lovey dove. Hey, lovey dove. How you doing? Let's talk to this guy. No, uh, excuse me. Who who was he? Uh, you were him, I believe. Oh, look at that. Uh, are you awake? Nope. All right, well, I guess we'll... Oh, oh, shit, you're alive! Of course I'm alive. I never sleep during work hours. Um, no oh, crap. Oh, Professor, do you recognize me? There is only one crazy character in a white coat that I know of. He hasn't lost his memory? What the hell? He's been dead more than once. I'm not the type who likes losing things. 
That's why I keep this bird on my head so I don't lose him or my hair. The but never mind that. So are you telling me the bird is what kind of keeps your memory waves inside? Cabanella, this is quite a surprising guest you've brought with you. Pretending like he didn't just blow up the place. I'm sorry, what? Are, are, are you talking about me? I didn't do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what? Uh, that's a different guy. And I'm a, this his, is a different guy. This is a different guy. And I'm his guest, actually. <laughs> he said, uh, said he came to rescue us. <laughs> Unlike you, my shop friend, he still hasn't gotten his memory back. Hmm. Pitiful. Ouch. Uh, I'm right here. That, that hurts. Anyway. Now we've uh, now we'll be going back to four minutes before your death. Oh sure. Uh, so everyone, strap in and hold on. It's gonna get weird. <laughs> in order to change your fate, that is. <laughs> but come on now, man! Are we already in the past? But we can go back even further. I I've done it before because there's multiple bodies, and yeah, you know, I don't know. It's <laughs> one of those things. It still doesn't. I, I still don't see a path to solving uh, saving Cabanella. Not yet. But if we go back further, maybe I'll find a lead. Small chance. Let's rewind time again. Right. Rewind. Oh, there we go. Now we get to do this. Heck yeah. Oh. Uh, um, what? Oh, yeah. They left uh, Sissel's body out there. Remember, it was in the chair, like all slumped over. Oh, that's right. Holy shit. How many times do I have to tell you, Professor? This is, this place is dangerous. Don't be daft. I can't leave now. Shut up. He's completely dead, but just as I thought, I'm getting a reading. Right there. He has power in death. <laughs> this is the source of his powers. If I remove it. Oh, that's why he's important to the nation. <laughs> he's like, yeah, you're right. I'm laughing. You're absolutely right. <laughs> if, he, if he can remove the powers of the dead, then... uh. He's not dead. He's just not there. The truth, the true form of the manipulator isn't something you can just detect. It's a spirit. <laughs> okay, so he is the manipulator. So at least as far as Cabanella knows. Yeah, exactly. Wow. So many paths. So I wonder if somebody else got like, is Ray the manipulator and like he's about to take this body? Like that's the only thing that would know. make sense because Ray's well, the only so far, but right. they can always introduce that's somebody true. new. That's true. Hmm, ridiculous! I can do this. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll go with this one. Sissel. Sissel. <laughs> so you figured it all out, huh? Fred. Uh, excuse me? You're a clever man, Inspector Cabanella. Here we go. So it is you. True. It is, so it's really you. you. You're. It's really true. So true. I wasted a lot of time. I wasted a lot of time tonight because of you, Inspector. Excuse me? How so? But it's just like you said. I died 10 years ago. This body is just a vessel, a shell. I control everything. This shell, people, the world, the moon, the moon spirit, and how late it takes for your pizza to show up. Wow, just like that's a, a lot of control. Can, just like I control the justice minister and Lynn. Okay. <laughs> oh my, oh my <laughs> stars, I, holy hell. So you, so it's true. You all manipulating my were. baby. Oh, you were manipulating my baby that time. You made a sh shoot your sh shoot her. Sh you made her shoot your sh shit. 
I'm gonna be honest with you. My brain locked because I'm like, that sounds really dirty. <laughs> I, like, did I, like, I, I need you to bring your brain up from the gutter <laughs> and I need you to embrace that this is a story that's translated from Japanese no, so can, some things will be strange. It just was, I was like, you, you made her shoot your shell and I was like, that really <laughs> sounds very dirty. <laughs> I mean, it's not, but I, I understand uh, where you're coming so, from. No, I get where you're coming from with it. I do. <laughs> but why? Why would you do a thing like that? Uh, so to create conclusive evidence, you know, on that security tape. Now she's a murderer too. She'll suffer just like Chow did. Uh, yeah. What? Okay. So she killed this. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Now then, <laughs> Professor. I'm afraid it's time for you to die. So sorry. I don't have any uh, grudge against you. I'm even grateful to you. So why don't you let me live then? I'll be leaving this country forever tonight, but before I do, I need to erase all evidence that exists that these powers of mine exist. Excuse me? Along with the contraption in this room. It's spinny spinny. I, I'm not. No, no, we are not okay with this. This time, the thing will work the way it was meant to, and it'll all be over. Ah. Uh. Cupid won't turn this time. He'll shoot his little arrow this way. Okay, so we need to figure out a way to turn Cupid. Oh, there's a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, Professor, look out! Yep. <laughs> oh, Caminella! Hmm. Dynamite, eh? Oh, and the devil did he put that there? So he planned it all out tonight. Having my baby shoot him, having his corpse disappear. What? Why do you call in your baby? It's upsetting. I'm not a fan. His corpse disappeared? What? What you mean? That medical examiner, remember him? Yeah. He was a he was a complete and utter imposter. Excuse me? But he had such an impressive mustache. But, oh yeah, and he was blue. I forgot about that. Because we, we pointed that out at the beginning of the yeah. game. It's strange that he's blue. And he said he was gonna take the Colts back to the lab. And he already made a deal with the manipulator to meet him and give him the body back. <laughs> Uh. But I wasn't gonna let that happen now, baby. Mm -hmm. You saw through their plan, eh? I noticed right away the medical examiner didn't know the first thing about examining a body. I knew he was fake, so I tracked him down and bought him off with my money. <laughs> what? Uh, bought him off? What? <laughs> I had him smuggle the corpse to this room right here. Oh, okay. I thought we could find the source of his powers. You know, fair. Of course, never in my wildest dreams did I think his abilities were powers of the dead. <laughs> anyway, there isn't much time. He's leaving the country before dawn. And I'm going to follow him, of course, after I save you two. That's gonna be easy. Oh, but sure. something's been nagging me, nagging the back of my mind. I remember what Ray said to me tonight. He said that spirits cease to exist when the day breaks. But if that's true, how could a spirit from 10 years ago still be here? He lied. <laughs> no time for thinking now, baby. Action is the name of the game. Yeah. Woke your magic and take us back, even farther, into the past. I can only go four minutes. That's all you need, baby. Eh, maybe. Okay, 
so I can open this door. Okay. I can open the door and possibly save the doctor. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Uh, there's the, ex the measuring device. Can't get to the toolbar. To the toolbox. But I can get to the balance toy. I don't know if that's helpful. You know what? Oh. Fool! What do you think you're doing? I just thought if I try it out. If you do that, you're gonna set the contraption in motion! Oh yeah, duh. I just thought, hmm, he just thought he'd blow me up is what he thought. Look, man, oops, I, it's my bad. I'm not trying to hurt you, but there are and there aren't a whole lot of things I can use my tricks on in this room. I think you might have actually just figured it out with the trap door and we just wait. Yeah. Could be. Let me just go ahead and... Yeah, because I can't get into that. No. And I don't want to open the door yet. That doesn't seem like yeah, a I good thing to do, do yet. Anything on that one. So yeah, I think we really are just... Oh. Hey, there's more rats. Oh, God, the tire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need this tire. Cover man. Yada, yada. We go through all of this. Isn't that crazy? Oh, I can't open it. Oh, could the fact that Professor's standing on it have anything to do with it? I may look small, but I'm pretty heavy set. He sounds so proud of that fact, too. The doll. Such a pity. Too bad it doesn't open downward, which is what I thought. That's why yeah. I said hold on to the doll, so we kind of effed right now. Sometimes Whoops. life can be so hard, wouldn't you agree, Professor? Yeah, that's why we're both dead. Jesus. <laughs> hmm. A door that opens downward, huh? Yeah, could be helpful. Really? I just... All right. That... Okay. So he... Nope. Nope, he moves back over. Can't open it. Yeah, yeah. My bad. All good. Dead. Time is passing. Can you, okay, so what can we see down here uh, in the? Uh, there's some lumber, there's. Okay, leaving this country, need to raise evidence, evidence. I get that. Along with the contraption. Contraption. Go to ghost time real fast. What's? No, I can't get there. I don't know, I'm just kind of like, can you move the camera around to see what's down here No. Okay. <laughs> No, I can only move the camera when I'm not in ghost time. Okay, I guess go. What do we? There's got to be something here, right? What you think? Let Talk me, to me. Let me try staying up here and see if I can turn the angel when it comes up. Nope, no nope. core. Okay. Go to okay. the right, I guess, or, or I'm sorry, Maybe. not in ghost time. I guess we just got to search around, but we'll. Yeah, like there's not a whole lot down there. And time keeps on ending. Hey, I know that voice. Help me. But uh, where are you? Find me before I'm carried away. Oh my God. What? That's missile. <laughs> Huh? God. What's with that frail sounding call for help? <laughs> Why is it? Why? Missile. He's he's here somewhere. Oh my God. A friend of yours? Yep. Little guy that looks a little fragile, but has strength. That surprised you. He's a small but hearty what breed. Brain? It's a small but hearty breed. <laughs> wow. He is asking you to find him. And before he gets carried away, no less. But I'm almost out of time. 
Sh should I look for him? Probably. Um, let's see. Can't really find him here. We got anything? Nothing up. There he is, right there. He was oh, the leaf. The leaf! Oh, <laughs> uh, what are you doing down there? Why are you so loud? Do you really have to ask? Seriously, are you really going there? Uh, no, <laughs> you know what? I, that's on me. I'm going to be honest. Uh, never mind. <laughs> anyway, I need your powers. Yes. Will you help me out? <gasps> of course! Oh, God. Here, let me come join you! Um, okay. We doing this? Yeah, yeah, we are. Okay. Okay! Here I am, Sizzle! Now, maybe things will flow in a new direction. You didn't maybe. flow. Even though the flow of the sewer is a little bit stinky! Alright. Fate changed. Okay. So, let's see. Ah, RT for missile. So missile brings me a few more possibilities. Is there anything that I can change the location or whatever? Um. um. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Okay, there's a lamp. There's a oh. toy cake in there. Okay, you can get. Okay. Why did I get kicked out of ghost I time? I don't know. Those squeaky guys are making a fuss about something. Sizzle! My animal instincts are starting to surface! Well, that's good, because I don't know, you're an animal. If you mean you want to chase them, I think you have to be alive to do that. Huh. There must be some kind of rat feast in that trash can. Those things usually make a bigger commotion than that. A bigger commotion, huh? What? Um, trash can lid, trash can, old magazines. Oh, I oh, can swap. swap them. You know what? Let's go and swap those. Let's see what that does. Hey, rat's like, oh shit! Rat is very excited. Oh. Oh, more rats. More rats. Does this kind of look like the toy cake now? Now that's what I call some proper commotion. They're making that trash can dance. Dance, my pretty. Uh, truth be told, I feel a bit more, more, uh, I feel a bit like dancing myself now. It's getting harder and harder to hold my wild instincts back. Oh, what a dangerous bunch. Oh, my God. Um. Oh, oh, there we go. Now we can switch those two for absolutely no reason. Um. I'm so scared I... about switching the tire, but I think you're right. I already switched to the tire. Oh, you already switched the tire? Okay. Yeah. Like, this is now the trash can lid right there. We have the measuring device. I feel like the measuring device could be swapped out for the toy cake, but I'm not entirely sure why I would. Yeah. Uh, there's a ball right there. It won't reach uh, lamp oh it's a telephone okay well that's not helpful right now okay so if I go back to sizzle then I got nothing here okay go down let's see what would with uh sizzle sorry <laughs> oh I was hoping I might be able to switch those two okay you said go down with sizzle 
Well, just okay. We got the trap door that opens, and then yeah. what's uh, the professor's carrying thing? I can examine the measuring device. Mm. Wait. So, oh no no! I got I got a switch switch. Uh, yeah yeah, you're right there. You're so the um, the trap door and the lid look exactly the same. You could flip those at like right now or. No, I can't. Okay, uh, go back to real time, but get ready to flip back to ghost time. Oh, come oh. on. Come on, I know this is going to work. They look exactly the same. There we go. And then he's going to fall. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. There goes Love It Dove. Habanella is still alive. And he <laughs> thinks the doctor is squished. Yep. Sorry, little pigeon. I killed your owner. Sucks. As for you, Inspector. <laughs> I have a little job for you. Ah, I can't move. I think I have four or five broken bones. I don't mind. It won't prevent you from, uh, it won't prevent me from manipulating you. <laughs> it won't prevent you from manipulating me. Yep. It might hurt a little, though, a little bit when I move you, though. Quite a bit, actually. It's going to hurt a lot. Uh, uh, damn you. Well, that's going to suck. Hey, lovey dove. There we go. Good job, lovey. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Okay, so there's one death averted. I can't believe it. You lot actually pulled it off. Sorry, Inspector Capnella. I couldn't do anything to help you. Yet. And there I am, a pole broken heap of arms and legs and sexual stuff. <laughs> Tension? That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> In my lines! <laughs> we got the word tension, but no matter, I enjoyed the show. The magic disappearing act, that is. Nothing like it, baby. Yeah, except, unlike a normal magic trick, I'm the one that managed to vanish without a trace here. I updated the phone book. Okay, fate averted. Nice. There's one fate averted. How do we get the other? A Fred. What's the matter? You look like you'd rather be dead. Not that you aren't. I was just remembering the fact that right about now, the real me is giving the Paul Justice Minister a real fight. A real fright. On that phone call, yeah, I, he was pretty upset. Um, excuse me, mister. Oh, God, it's a dog talking to me. You really shouldn't be mean like that. <laughs> you good? I'm great, good, man. You? I'm great. I don't give a damn. This is the best character. Oh, uh, you should be mean. <laughs> and why is this? And what is this lively little creature? Oh, uh, that little doggy is the warrior that keeps who keeps Camilla safe. Or he would be if he was like actually still full of life. Oh, Camilla. Gods in heaven, what a terrible thing. That poor girl taken hostage. It's a cruel twist of fate indeed. Wait just a minute, Miss Camilla is a hostage. Yes, we're sorry, little warrior. Miss Camilla, a hostage. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, before Rose passes out and just hyperventilates, conks out on the couch, uh, Inspector Cabanella, 
it's time to save your life now. <laughs> but you couldn't get very far when you tried before, am I right? Yeah, but we got missile now. Yeah, we got missile now. <gasps> but this time it's different, right, Sizzle? Did you realize that Sizzle rhymes with missile? We're like the dynamic duo. We were always meant to be. <laughs> missile, Sizzle, Sizzle, Missile. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know that's yeah, it's right. I, uh, little dogs. Just, if there was such a thing as catnip for dogs, it would be this dog. I'm just saying. With us working together and our powers combined, it's a whole different situation. It's a true story. We'll save the inspector in white, and then we'll rescue Camilla. Okay. Okay, let's hurry up and get through this. <laughs> God damn, gee, yes. that missile thing is a uh, holy hell. You're making me feel feel like an afterthought. Who cares about you when Camilla needs saving? <laughs> Go get wrecked. <laughs> Basically. All right, let's get started. Cecil, so, so how the Fred are you getting upstairs? Like missile can go, but how are you doing this? Inspector Cabanel is upstairs. You can't use any phones. So our first step is to get up there. <gasps> Sizzle, I'll go up first and wait for you. Oh, you're going to do it by yourself. Dang. Right. Well, shit. Missile. Okay, lovey dove. We need your help. Carrying this, me carry this measuring device upstairs. It has Mr. Ghost in it, so don't drop it. You know what? That's pretty genius. Thank you, Lovey Dove. Yeah. Why are the animals always the best characters in these games? I don't know, but they really are. <laughs> hey, like well. every time. Oh, hey, that works. Lovey Dove, you're the best. Yeah, hey, well, that was easy enough. Thank you so much. <gasps> there you are, Sizzle! Sorry for the wait, Missile. Oh, God. A lot of rhymes going on. Four minutes from now, the inspector will be killed by a gun. Yes. You just jump in there and stop him from firing, would you? Oh, hell. Well, there you go again with that stuff. Besides, it doesn't make any sense. If you stop him from firing, he'll just kill you some other way. Wait a minute. That sounds familiar. Yep, same situation as mine. Your best bet this time around is to allow him to shoot and then save Cabanella without him noticing. Okay, so what can we switch? <laughs> because I don't know yet. Whew. It's even worse than last time. Oh shit. Anywho, something, uh, jump in there, jump in there and do something. Okay, I'm ready to jump in, Sizzle! Don't forget, whenever you want to use my powers, just have RT! Okay, so... We have... We, we, oh, wow. <laughs> Sizzle is just, like, down for the count on this one. Okay, so we have... Missile over here doing his thing. A missile can only hat. move things. Can only switch things. Switch things, okay. But I don't see anything that he can switch just yet. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Huh? Um, are we going to have to let Cabanella shoot... Uh, fake Sissel to get the rolling cart closer because doesn't need the rolling cart roll back closer to us because Sissel falls into the Possibly. rolling cart. Fake yeah. Sissel falls into the rolling cart and I think it gets a little closer and then we can jump in and start moving around with Sissel too. Hopefully. I'm trying to figure out like is there anything that Missile can move around I don't think there is. Not really. Okay, so let's put Missile there. Go back into Sissel and just kind of 
play it out a little bit. Chill for a minute. Because Sizzle literally cannot move anywhere. Now I can. I can get to a few places. But oh, not very much yet. Okay, um What? I'm just I'm looking at this. We're probably gonna have to swing the uh the lamp. That's the only thing the we can The lamp get. swings here in a minute. True. But I don't know what swinging it would do. Yeah. Should we check good... real fast? See if it hits uh, fake sizzle? I don't know if that... Fake sizzle will probably catch it, though. I don't know if we want fake sizzle seeing us move the shit. I don't I don't know. True. You open the spout lid? Doesn't really do anything. Okay. What? What's the hint? Oh, did you see that? That bad sizzle turned around! Do you have to call him that? But yeah, maybe this is our chance to try some ghost tricks. Okay. Uh, this is the only time he takes his eyes off of me, too. If you have something to do, do it now! Time to take the first steps to saving the inspector. Okay. It's gonna return with that damn thing, then. Yeah. Okay, so that's already turned. Missile is right here. Oh, I thought I saw a little green thing come out. Yeah. Seriously. What? Eh, hopefully it'll become more obvious soon. He's talking. That's the kind of guy you are. Vanilla has his gun. Oh, I got nothing to say to you. You'd never listen anyway. Okay. Like, we have a couple hats that we could change if they were closer. Yeah. Back to trick time. Okay. What can... Okay. I can move the step ladder. Mm-hmm. Because my first thought was, can I switch the uh, step ladder and the chair? Yeah. And that way, Cabanella would fall down, but the chair is not an option. Yeah. But, like, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> okay. Um, Should I go ahead and try moving yeah, the, step the step ladder and just see... Yeah. Where it goes. Yeah, let's move the step ladder. Okay. Uh, Microsoft, microscope, photo. Can I do anything with this? Jiggle the knit I hat. I can jiggle the knit hat. Okay. Now let's go move this back. And then Sissel can switch those two for some reason. Oh, dang. You needed to move that helmet. Oh, I did. I might as well restart. Don't. Yeah, I think we yeah, I think we need to restart. Oh, from the beginning. No. Not from the super beginning, right? Just the be No, it should just be the beginning of Cabanella. Okay, God, thank you. I was like, yeah. whoa, no, 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 no. <laughs> John can't take I it. I was like, hold on. <laughs> We're going to pause the episode if we got to do that. No, it's it's just from the beginning of Cabanella. Bullet. Okay. Um. So let's go ahead and get Sissel into that. Missile. Missile. Okay. We gotta wait for. Bad Sissel. That thing to happen. Oh. Yep. Yeah, all right. Then we switch <laughs> over to. Yeah. Okay. So I can just kind of chill here. Yep. And then all of these things will happen. Oh, you got to move the lamp, though, right? Oh, I don't think I can. I forgot. What? Oh. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Oh, what's going on? I've never seen the ghost world like this. 
<laughs> so, you're here now, are you? Uh, he says my presence. That's not good. I noticed too. You. you think you can stop me, do you? <laughs> Excuse me? Why is he looking straight at the camera? Because he knows. Uh, Fred. I don't think you're... I don't know why you're wearing my face. <laughs> I don't think they... <laughs> but you might as well give up now. I control everything. Do you really, though? Okay. Including the life of this inspe police inspector in white. Okay. So might as well just restart. Yeah, I guess start from the beginning. Because he, he knows we're here, so he's not going to let anything yeah. happen. That is crazy. Okay, let's go try this again. <laughs> and My here bad. we go, do -si do Powers. Okay, so let's get missile over there. Then we get all these things. He talks. <laughs> he throws things on the floor because he's throwing a tantrum. And okay, then back out. Wait for him to turn his head. Yeah. Totally forgot about this step. Okay. Move that. I knocked down the, the uh, hat too. Like move missile into the book since we're going to need that anyway. Okay. And then move, then switch back to uh, Sissel and knock down the, the helmet at the over on the Why right. Why would I knock down the helmet? Because the knit hat didn't get caught on the, the... The knit hat needs to get caught on the hook. Well, I'm glad you caught that because that was not clear. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, when we knocked down the knit hat, I was like, oh, it probably needs to hook onto that for some reason because they were pushing us toward that. <laughs> That is not what you said at all. <laughs> but okay. Oh, did he catch it? Yeah. Damn it! I've seen the ghost world like this. Oh, Here, shit! Since my presence. We were too slow. I didn't know that we needed to do both. Shit! Okay, so... <laughs> Good luck, kids! God, <laughs> please! Save me! Best of luck. Well, it will be the key. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, let's get Missile up into the book. Okay, that's a good idea. I like I like that process. I didn't know what no. we were doing! No, no, you're fine. You're fine. I, 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 I assumed, like, with how it was sliding down and I was like oh we, it needs to catch that hook too so that's on me I should I should have been I more I thought we were just going to switch the hat and the knit oh I thought like how it was slight and for some other reason just I thought that I just missed a ghost time and that's uh, what happened okay okay communication is key kids <laughs> that's on me my hand doesn't okay. hurt isn't it the best it's crazy being Dead and whatnot. Switch that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, let's do it. Oh, oh. Oh, no. damn it. Oh, it's when he gets knocked over. It is when he gets knocked over, yep. Because he's too close. He's he can too, hear he it. Can it's hear right it. next yep. to his yeah, head. Yeah, when he gets shot. And... Oh, wait, no. No, we're good. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Listen. I was looking at you. I'm glad you looked at the screen because <laughs> I was staring at you. When I was seriously about to just restart the whole oh, thing. Oh, God. I'm but, so uh... glad you caught that. Okay. There we go. All right. Control back. Okay. So we move so the we ladder. Move the ladder. We get the hat. We get. We the jiggle the hat. hat. Go back over here. We move. Go back. 
Switch the... Yeah, okay. Switch those two. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I, I, don't I don't know what, what to do, do after this. I just... I got to this point. I don't know what to do. Um... Does... Missile... Need to, like... Missile can't reach the hat. Oh, no. Do I need to... Do we need to move the knit cap and the thing? Because if... I don't think I can get there. Uh, no, I don't I don't think so. Let, okay, let's just play it out. Let's see what... Oh. I'm so nervous. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, this was the other condition to my deal. To wipe everyone out who knew about Tim Sick. Wait. He's gonna shoot! It's too late! Again? Oh, he's gonna shoot it. Not uh, shoot again? <laughs> no, wait. Our chance is coming up. Hey, all right, cool. Okay. The last split second, right? Leave it to me! What are we switching? Oh, would you look at that? The bullet is hanging in midair between the gun and the inspector's forehead. Now's our chance! I'm in the bullet right now! Let's swap this thing with something else! Okay. What? <laughs> what? It's our only hope. There's got to be something here uh, with the same shape and direction as the bullet. Is there? Um. Thank you. Thank you. I, you are. Try the, try the damn hat. Try the damn hat. Sure. <laughs> what? <laughs> because it's not the full bullet. It's just the cap. Oh my God. You're right. It, I didn't it's... think about that. Yeah, I don't think he noticed. Yeah, it's not the shell. Yeah. We were, we were thinking the whole shell, but the actual bull that fires yeah, it's is just, the, the tip. It's just the tip. Yep. Because the rest of it is holding what explodes yeah, it's the, to power yeah, the gun that powder it leaves the gun. In the, ch in, the, in the cap. Yep. And the shell. Yeah. Look like, looks like you pulled off another magic disappearing act. <laughs> and now I say again. I love knit hats. So well, and most of all, soft. So very soft. Did, did I did I do all right? Was I a good boy? You did a fine job, little one. You saved another life. <laughs> and I'll keep doing it too, OMG! Oh, right, 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 oh, right. <laughs> What I just saw, what I saw in just those four minutes gave me all the answers I've been looking for. And all our research these past 10 years pales in comparison, right, Professor? So you two were working together? That's about the size of it, yeah. <laughs> Who would believe a story about a manipulator? Yeah. So we pursued it ourselves, just the two of us. We can make it if we try. <laughs> I'm quite a crazy character myself, after all. Oh, they're both crazy characters in a white coat. Oh, they are, yeah. That's their connection. That is their connection. <gasps> okay, let's hurry back! Back to our time! We have to rescue Miss Camilla! Uh, you're right, Missile. All right, well, I guess it's the adventures of Missile and Sissel now. <laughs> and there's a certain guy I have to follow, too. <laughs> Don't know why this is called Ghost Trip. We should have just named it the, 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 wa adventures. the Wacky Adventures of Missile and Sissel. <laughs> that would have been the best title. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Did I die? <laughs> After completing his revenge on Inspector Cabanella, the man in red left. And now, a new story is about to unfold in a new present. Yeah. How are you feeling?
on you old crazy character. <laughs> like he's got four broken bones. Hey there, Professor. We're both alive. I see it. Nothing like it, baby. But I don't know if I'm getting it, getting old or what. I've got a few aches and pains here and there. Used to be a little thing like an explosion wouldn't bother me. Yeah, right. Like I'm gonna believe that. So what? The guy in red is gone, eh? Just in case, I posted special investigation units all around the building. Let's just pray the boys come through this time. Come through for us. Sure. I'm dying. Sweet mother of God, I'm dying. Multiple Damn broken it. bones. I picked a bad time to listen to me. Damn it. Damn it. You picked a bad time to listen to me. Not. Not listen to me and my body of mine. Sweet body of mine. Really? Okay. Do we talk to them real fast and make sure they're okay? Sure. If I knew things were going to end up like this, I would have tried to die in that explosion, baby. That way I could have been dancing after Big Red by now. Huh. I might be able to erase deaths, but it's true. I can't do much about injuries. Sucks. But really, you shouldn't talk that way. Yeah, I'm so I suppose you're right. I, I just hate feeling feeling so helpless. He was right there within my grasp. All our plans were resting on tonight. And then this had to happen. Had to. I guess he's thinking about his spotless record. Maybe. It's not too late, Inspector. We're, we still have a chance. We can make it if we try. Maybe I can catch him. Say, uh, say you're right. That's not a bad idea. I'll co cooperate with you fully. Go ahead and fire away any questions you like, Mr. Ghost. <laughs> Here we go. That guy mentioned revenge. Revenge isn't the is revenge against the people who stole his life away ten years ago. Hmm. He's a fool. He's the one who made the decision to take that little girl hostage, and he wound up dead. He only has himself to blame. But what about when he said this? I was murdered by all of you. Detective Jowd forced me into a corner. I don't know why I'm switching that voice up again. Lynn, the girl who was, <laughs> was playing in the park. And finally you, Inspector Cabanella. You had, if you hadn't done what you did, I never would have pointed a gun at that kid. I say Fred. Yes. 10 years ago on that day, the special investigation unit was working on a certain big case. We hauled in a young man, an important witness to our investigation. And then I did it. I made two. Very stupid mistakes. You, you unlocked the door to the interrogation room? You didn't handcuff him? Uh, detective, I'm telling you. I don't know anything about it. Fine, fine. You're under no obligation to talk, of course. But if you don't, the special investigation unit can make the rest of your life a living hell. Dead. It's pretty serious, man. Was, Jesus. But uh, I... I'd just been assigned to the special investigation unit, you see. They didn't share much information on big cases with a newbie like me yet, and I wanted to impress them. Right. But, I, but it was only supposed to be a simple matter of taking a statement. Mm -hmm. But I was too green. I pushed him too hard. I drove him to a into a corner and made him lose all hope. At first, that was my first mistake. And then I made another mistake on top of that. It was mistakes on mistakes. I was really green. <laughs> green like the trees in springtime. <laughs> Cabanella, got a minute? Oh. The chief wants to see you about your report. I got it. I'll be right there. 
You stay right there and be a good boy, now. <laughs> you can tell by the way I use my... <laughs> and that's when I did it. I left it... I left it behind in the interrogation room. The key? My gun. Ah. Yeah, that was... That was a mistake. How could you? He used my gun to escape. What he said is true. If I hadn't made that mistake... He still would have run. He would have never had to had a gun to point at Lynn in the first place. Okay. That, I mean, not wrong, but... Sir... Okay. All right. You know yeah. what? Yeah. First... We first found out about the manipulator's existence during a certain overseas communication. Uh, excuse me? Overseas communication? What? For national security purposes, this country keeps tabs on communication networks. Right. This particular communication was about making a deal with a certain foreign country. He said he wanted them to buy him, him and his powers. Uh, um, That's how we first heard about him. Of course, you didn't know what he looked like at the time. We didn't know what he looked like at the time. And in order to prove these powers of his, he gave them two predictions. He foresaw two completely preposterous, impossible cases. The case of a man who would sing national secrets during a rock live rock concert broadcast. Yep. And the case of a man who would take the chief commissioner hostage in his own office and now they're prisoners yep hmm those two inmates at the pr special prison huh that's a cool silhouette shot by the yeah. way yeah we kept tabs on their communication and launched an investigation and then finally we pinpointed where they were going to meet tonight and stalked staked it out we stalked them oh that restaurant? The kitchen? The chicken kitchen? Yep. That one. That one. Yeah, you know that one. The manipulator's manipulator plans on leaving this country tonight on a submarine that belongs to the other country in this deal. Are you shitting me? A submarine? What? Huh? <laughs> but we ha we have we haven't been able to find out where it was going to surface. It's terrifying to think that we would happen. What would, what would happen if his powers were to fall into their hands? Right. Highly unlikely they to use them for peaceful purposes. And now they have that little girl as a hostage. Huh. Camilla. We have to stop him before he leaves the country. I agree okay. on all counts minus how this is playing out. This spotless record of yours. <sighs> Tell me about it. Is it really that important to you? Of course, baby. Spotless like this coat. I'm fashionable. <laughs> I'm fly. Ex respect the drip. My goodness. In some ways, it's more important to me than my life. I don't think it's some ways. I think it just is. Uh, then your life. All right. Whatever. After all, it's because of my record that I'm able to get my hands on all intel as head of the Special Investigation Unit. And because of my position, I get to direct all aspects of the investigation into the manipulator case. I don't know if that's necessarily good. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, what? The manipulator case? That's what you cared about your record so much? That's why you cared about your record so much? I say Fred. Of course. Why else, baby? What? I just never could believe it. Man, Chowd, shooting Alma? Nah, baby. I didn't care that he confessed. There was definitely something more to the story. Some secret. Okay. I did everything I could to climb the ladder. Everything in my power. And then I finally found the answer. It took five long years, though. The manipulator. He's going to prove that Jowd is innocent. I, I'm sorry. So, 
you're going to let your friend die by execution to protect your record because you imprisoned the wrong man. I'm glad Even though he is innocent, he, you know he is. I'm glad to see your understanding. What credible determination. Incredible determination. Oh, let's talk about this determination. <laughs> There's just one thing I don't understand. If you're so determined to help Detective Jow, why didn't you help him? Why didn't you help him escape from prison? Seriously. Oh, that's an easy one, baby. Escaping from prison is a crime. There it is. What? I wasn't about to help him commit a crime after spending five years trying to prove him innocent. Yep. And he himself asked to be executed, you know. A man of the law, yes. I had as a man of the law, I had to make sure the execution was stopped legally. Right. Sure. <laughs> And that's why I brought him before the justice minister, too. I needed to buy as much time as possible as I possibly could, baby. Yeah, so that's it. All right. <laughs> but there's one other unfortunate result of all of this. Lynn completely misunderstood your intentions. Yes. Ha! What's a little misunderstanding? My baby would co will come around. Give it time. <laughs> I'm seriously trying to understand if he, when he says my baby, he means like that's my little girl or like that's my little girl. So I'm saying it, my baby because you don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know either. Yeah. But there's more important things to do with our time tonight. Is there? Do we talk to the professor now too? I I don't you know what? Let's try the phone. If it's not right, then they'll tell us. Right? Will they? I, I don't know to be honest with you. I, let's go ahead and try. Uh Mr. Scooper intended. Do you mind if I talk to you for a minute? I haven't always been a junkyard superintendent, you know. I used to be part of the police. The police, huh? Not as a detective, but as a medical examiner. I investigated victims cause of de victims cause of death. Oh, so you're like Dexter. All right. Basically, yes. Ten years ago, I was asked to autopsy a strange corpse. Hit by a meteorite fragment and died instantly. That's what the police report said. But they were wrong. There were no signs of life. He was definitely dead. But I never filed an autopsy report. Wait, what? That's because the corpse suddenly vanished. Leaving behind only one clue. I'm glad we talked to you. Just yeah. be safe. An unusual corpse. I bet that's what I've oh. been. Ch oh. oh, I bet that's what I've been chasing all night. My bad. No, that's all right. You're going. I'm like, I'm just let you go. I didn't register. Could you tell me more? Like, did he put up a fight? <laughs> tell me more. Tell me more. Yeah, sure. I have an interest in you recovering your memory and finding your true identity, too. Right. That's the only way I can describe it, too. It was an unusual corpse. He was dead, all right. No question about it. But there wasn't a scratch on him. Oh, not a scratch. But I thought he was hit by a meteorite fragment. I didn't, don't understand it any more than you do. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I was just like, why did it fade to black? I was completely bewildered. But when I tried to autopsy him, I was even more puzzled. I couldn't get his clothes off so that I could cut into his chest. His clothes were made of steel. I couldn't perform the autopsy. Why? You couldn't? W what do you mean? The scalpel went in, but I couldn't cut. It's like he was a hologram. 
As soon as I tried to make an incision, it would heal up in the very next instant. What? And that's how it went. And no scarring or blood either. <laughs> that's weird. What? And I never had the chance to solve the mystery. Oh, that's because the corpse up and vanished on us. The morgue is well guarded. Nobody could have stolen that body. But there is one way the corpse could have disappeared. What's that? It got up and walked away. Basically. Oh, I look at that. Yep. If it walked itself out, I mean, nobody's going to stop you from walking out of a morgue. True. You didn't check the cameras to see where the body went? That's what I like. It got up, opened the door, and walked out on its own. Ever since then, we've started locking doors on corpses. <laughs> Ever since then, we decided to put a security camera system in. Seriously. What? He was dead, but he wasn't dead. We saw it with our own eyes tonight. Not even that explosion could kill him. He didn't even feel it when he slammed his fist on the stove. Yep. The corpse left behind some data from some testing I did. I got some readings for some kind of radiation coming off that body. Radiation? What? I used all kinds of instruments, but I couldn't determine exactly what kind of radiation it was. Did you check the meteorite that hit him? Yeah. <laughs> some undiscovered type from a world unknown. And that world was Arrakis. <laughs> Wait a minute. Could it be? Guess what movie we just saw, guys. <laughs> That's right. It was coming from that meteorite fragment from Arrakis. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. He's going to check it out. Ah, uh, lovey dove. Best dove of the game. I went to that park and tested the spot where the meteorite fell. And just as I expected, I detected radiation coming from that crater. It was the exact same pattern of radiation as that of the corpse. At the time, I thought he was some kind of immortal being. He would die only to come back to life. I wanted to research it all in death, so I quit my job as a police medical examiner. Wait, why would you do that? Yeah, you have instruments. You have instruments and access to labs and things. It's called a cold case, dog. <laughs> Seriously. Several years later, I came to learn the connection between my research and the manipulator case. I probably could have found out days later if I hadn't quit my job as a police medical examiner. <laughs> I mean, there's data that could have been ran. Thanks to the arrival of this crazy character here. Oh, stop now, professor. Do you want me? Do you want to see me blush? Maybe. There it is. There it is. Caminella's arrival. It was about a year ago, I'd say. Okay. This man in white came dancing into my research lab here. It's not much better than what I had at the police station. Maybe I should have kept that job. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> dancing in. I heard there was an oddball here who's researching Temsic. Is that you, baby? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, who are you to be calling anybody an oddball? I was investigating the manipulator case then. 
And then I heard that there was a man who quit the police force to study that meteorite. Then I heard, when I heard that, it was like a meteorite had struck me on the head. Ah! <laughs> oh no, don't, don't, don't do this to me. At that time, we were just starting to get our leads on this manipulator. We didn't know who he was at least. Yes. What the hell, John? <laughs> we didn't know who he was yet. What are you saying? Don't do this to you. You only have like two of these voices. I'm more talking about your Irish accent. <laughs> I love my Irish accent. It's terrible. <laughs> but you know. But we knew he was communicating with a certain phone country. Was it Ireland? <laughs> In one of those communications, we heard the manipulator say this. The source of my power is not of this world. <laughs> and that tipped us off to everything that we got billions of dollars to go to Arrakis and get the spies. Seriously. And that's when I put two and two together, baby. Spice and meteors and all this shit. Okay. Do you want to know the next plot hole that I see? Yeah, that's that. What about Cabanella and his wife? You mean Jowd and his wife? Jowd and his wife. Yeah. Well, the, the manipulator. Oh, that was like five years after this. Yeah, and the manipulator okay. did that too. That, that it's. Gonna... Yeah, but I was. I thought that it took place before. Uh, Tim sick part. Uh huh. And then I was gonna be like, but that means the manipulator wasn't on Earth yet. But no. It was after. Aliens are coming, baby. I guess. The, manip the manipulator case and Tamsik were somehow connected. Which also explained how five years ago he used his powers to manipulate a birthday surprise a little girl made for her mother. He added that gun to the contraption, most likely by controlling Camilla. Yep. We did it. Somehow or another. So that contraption in the basement here. You built that to try and help Detective Jow? That's right. Jow and I worked together back when I was with the Force. I used the reports of his case to try and recreate the device. But there was just one part of it that I couldn't reproduce no matter how hard I tried. Camilla told Jow he'd Jow it did something that it shouldn't have made yeah. an impossible move. Yeah. Yeah. Camilla told Jow that it did something it shouldn't have made an impossible move. Commas are 100% worth it. They put the commas. No, I did. I But I, I put commas in yeah. my thoughts. I added that part to the device I recreated. Yeah, they put commas where they needed to. I know. I, I said it wrong. Oh, okay. That's what I was trying it to happens. say. That's what I was trying to say. I put in a part that would allow Cupid to rotate. Otherwise, the gun wouldn't fire. So that must must mean somebody manipulated Camilla's contraption. Like we just discussed. As a, res as a result, we proved to ourselves that the manipulator manipulator actually existed. That's what proved it. That, uh, okay. Oh. Hey, Camilla. That's not Camilla. That's not Camilla. That's that's Lynn. Lynn. Hey, baby. <laughs> Sorry about that phone call. I must have sounded like a real villain. I hated to spoil your image of me. Of that cool cat inspector you always looked up to. Is that really the image you had of him? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I really thought it was just going to cut out there. I thought it was too. Inspector Caminella, I'm sorry. I just heard. You were chasing after that man all this time to try and help Detective Jowd. So How did you hear that? So you heard that all through the phone that I didn't disconnect, but we don't have cell phones in this world, huh? No. Nope. All right. This manipulator is such a dangerous character. 
I was hoping you didn't have to be involved. So that's why you had me arrested tonight, isn't it? Like I always say, if someone's in the way, throw them in the slammer. Wow, you really are a jerk. Y yikes. Tonight. That someone was you. I really thought we finally had him. But my body gave out on me right at the critical moment. I got blown up, and it sucks. It's a cruel joke. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 oh. But a joke is a joke. You might as well laugh. The heck, man? Jout. The minister called off the execution order. And while he was at it, he let Detective Jout go free until tomorrow morning, too. Isn't that great? Now Jout can pick up where you left off because you're not doing well. That's a pretty extreme while he was at it. So we're not going to fade when I walk in, huh? No. Sucks to suck, Lynn. <laughs> I'm sorry I took so long to get here. You can leave the rest to me because I'm actually a detective. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go again. You've always been like that. You make everybody else run around and then you swoop in in the last second. And that's not what you do? Down. Five years ago. <laughs> four score and seven years ago. <laughs> you've left this coat with me just before you turned yourself in. I promise to give it back to you one day. You'll still have to wear your prisoner pants, but you can have your coat. <laughs> John's sitting over here next to me with a look of disbelief on his face, just so you guys know. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. So powerful. But <laughs> looks ever more like a prisoner. I've been waiting so long, Detective Jowd. It's almost like you are trying to escape now. Wait. We couldn't find this man some pants. Waiting for this day to come. Thanks for not giving up on me, Lynn. It's so weird with that shirt. Okay, I'm off then. Good luck, my old friend. <laughs> Nobody call the cops. John, where are you going? <laughs> this present you gave me. It's just what I needed. Thank you. Anytime. Glad you like it. Get the hell out of here now, Chowd. <laughs> Seriously. Sissel, are you there? Yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> you and I have to go find that man. I need your help. Will you do this with me? Sure. What, what how? We don't know where the submarine is and the phone lines don't work. Or the phone line doesn't work. They use communication cables to make their calls. We'll get you hooked up somehow. You'll see. Could you wait here until we do? Please? All right. Fine. I'm counting on you. This true self you're looking for? I'll bet you'll find it soon. All right. I'm leaving, Inspector Cabanella. Bye. It's almost done. I'm not who I thought I was. I'm actually further from knowing who I am than ever. But now, I don't feel so alone. And with the power of friendship, I've learned everything that I don't need to know who I am. Each one of us, for his or her own reasons, is looking for the truth. Together, I think we can shed light on these mysteries and drive away the darkness. But it's almost done. Oh my god! <sighs> well, things happened. We did it. <laughs> we got through that one. Yeah. Oh, now we can see Sissel. Oh. Face down. Yep. Got a new song. Oh, Ghost Trick. Nice. nice. Illustration. Fantastic. 
Yes. <laughs> yes, I yes, want to save. Please. Thank you so much. All right. Well, let's all digest that and really sit on it, understand what is happening, yep. and wonder where the hell missile went to through that whole exposition of That's 30 minutes. That's what I want to know. 30 minutes. Yep. Hope you guys enjoyed the free baseball. See you later. Bye. I swear to God, if aliens show up, I'm breaking a TV. <laughs> aliens are already here. That's the meteorite. Superman.